the men's squad. Nigeria head coach Keshi announced a 30-man roster for the packed gym schedule that will see the African country. African champions uh, play around 10 matches in the 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification, a FIFA Confederations Cup, and friendly matches. The exclusion of uh, Captain Joseph Yobo has led the NFF President Aminu Maigari directing the Federation's Technical and Development Committee to intervene in the rift between Keshi and Yobo. But the 30 man team announced uh, yes, on Thursday that Keshi will come under scrutiny when the Nigeria Football Federation Committee, chaired by Christopher Greener, meets next week. Enugu Rangers and Kaduna United have received punishment from the handlers of the elite division over their involvement in crowd violence recently for their roles in the ugly incident that happened in the week three tie between Enugu Rangers and Wari Wolves and the week four face off between Kaduna United and Enugu Rangers. Both the Flying Antelopes and Kaduna United have been ordered to play their next six and four home games respectively behind closed doors. Referee Aldo Ibrahima was reportedly assaulted by the Irate Rangers fans and some players of the club shortly after their goal straw against Warrior Wolves at the Namdi Aziki West Stadium and no good league management committee which met in Abuja to review some of the outstanding cases witnessed uh, since the commencement of the league season has ordered both clubs uh, to pay without the luxury of the offender uh, for the next five games. <laughs> And Carabella's goal chair, but Baganaro has indicated it will miss Ruben Gabriel and Papa Idris, who have joined Scottish First Division side Kilmanok. Kikanaro noted that though they are happy that the players that have moved on in their career, is a sin that uh, they will leave a yawning gap in the Kano based side. I will surely miss the two players, uh, they were instrumental to the performance. My name is uh, Eric Kwajo, uh, I play a striker, Remo Star, uh, listen, talk, Nigeria football, top radio, 90.9. Welcome back. Uh, still, let's talk Nigeria football on Top Radio 90.9. Okay, time to meet uh, the guys in the studio. And I start from my right, opposite right, uh, yeah, where we've got a uh, uh, grassroots uh, soccer expert. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Shino Peter live right here on the show. Shino Peter, nice having you around once again. Well, thank you very much, Larry. Good evening to the listeners out there. It's good to be back. Plenty of things to talk about on grassroots level. The Korea West League continues. A new league coming up and plenty of things to talk about just keep it locked okay so just a teaser for you coming from chino peter time to talk uh, to uh, the media officers uh, in the studios as uh, okay just only one media officer known to me known to me and uh, i'll start with the one known to me and that's uh, michael or uh michael sitting in the studios today is shows that your team or the league is on break uh, and uh, nice to have you once again back to back sorry last week too Ah, oh, definitely. It's, it's a good feeling to be here. Mm. Just to show a couple of weeks back. 
It's a pleasure being here once more. Okay, and uh, while you called, we also right here, uh, the media officer are not known to me once again. Okay, and uh, while you called, we, uh, thank you for coming around again. Well, it's a pleasure having me here in the studio with you guys and, you know, with my big bros in the studio. I think it's a great, great privilege. Okay, <laughs> and uh, yes, to the big bros now, I, I did the introduction hierarchically. Yeah, uh, you follow hierarchy uh, anywhere you are sometimes. So, and. Uh, Talking about hierarchy, the big boys uh, right here in London, Kota, uh, making another return to the show this evening. Nondi, how you doing? Oh, good evening, Wally. Good evening, listeners. Uh, I wanted to say viewers. <laughs> listeners, uh, <laughs> it's nice uh, being on top with you. Um, 90.9. Don't touch it there, but um, that um, compliment. It's too heavy for me. It's too heavy for you. It's just manage and carry. Uh, try. Just, just, just try. Just try. Just to adjust and minimize. <laughs> Thank you very much for being part of the show. Okay. Alongi Akilolu also right here. And uh, it's nice uh, seeing you once again. Last time we saw you at my father. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't start your, don't, don't start your for, for that. It took me like three weeks to, to, for that for that to get off my mind. <laughs> well, I see um, a couple. Of clubs represented here, three SC, Real Monsters, and the, the Super Eagles also Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah, Spain beautiful. Not forgetting Bolota. Okay, it's nice Defunct. to talk about Nigerian football. Defunct Bolota, you must emphasize. Okay, uh, guys, uh, you can join the show via calls, text messages, and also you can watch us live uh, on YouTube. Just uh, subscribe to our page, uh, that's Top Radio 909, and you will be able to watch us live. You can also hang out with us. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, we're about to get a cookie back uh, from the UK. But before getting back, guys, Let's talk about the Super Eagles. Lots really going down with the Super Eagles at London. I, I could start with you. 30 man list uh, for Walker qualifiers May, June, July. Busy month uh, it will be for us. Uh, uh, but let's look at the exclusions, the notable exclusions uh, from that list. Nosai Gibo, not in the list. Ikechuku uh, Uche also not making it into that list. Obafemi uh, Martins. And uh, most uh, obviously and conspicuously, Captain Joseph Yobo. Well, I'm not going to talk about you because um, that um, has been a, more or less like, um, it's like um, what do we call the music when you keep playing the same thing, the same thing, the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. It becomes too commercial. They call it commercial, commercial songs. I think I don't want to talk about you for now. Let's just allow that to go okay. because you generate more. Because last week we talked about you and this time I will talk about you. Um, but for me, Nozara Gebo deserved, for me, of course, we know the issues surrounding Nozara Gebo. Of course, after the Nations Cup. He couldn't turn up for his club. He complained that the Spanish um, embassy refused him visa. They had visa issues, so the club, of course, so he has not been playing at his club after the Nations Cup. Very few games. Um, his performance at the last Nations Cup, after the first game, he went, he was retired to the bench. He couldn't have a look into the first team of the Super League. So that actually would him out. Mm. But like Keshi said, the building, the building process is, is still ongoing. There are still opportunity for other players. And look at the, look at the latest call up. It means that the same opportunity these guys have. The same possessive of competitiveness that Keshi brought into the team since he took over the job in it's, 2011. It's, it's still right there. It's still right there. So it means that you have to keep, you have to be consistent over time. You have to play, give, any, in any game, you give up your A performance. That's what it means. If you step if you step down or you drop a bit and someone steps up, it means that that person takes your place. But, but when, when that you that talk about in. stepping up, uh, maybe uh, Akilolu, maybe you should come into this one. When you, talk, talk, when you spoke about stepping up, we've seen some players in that list who have failed to step up ever since they got their bow. Uh, the likes of uh, Son Dimba hasn't kicked the ball after the Nations Cup. Uh, Gabriel Ruben has added it uh, too bad with injuries, although made a move to Scotland. And they still remain in that squad. And uh, maybe you look at uh, some other players who didn't make this list, uh, who still should have uh, maybe squeezed their way into this list, uh, are not in there. Sure, I think uh, when we look at, there's one word I keep you know, mentioning over and over, that's competition in the national team right now. If you don't bring up your A game at any point in time, you tend to regret it because there's another... A couple of guys behind the scene that are ready to take up that opportunity. You get it. Now, if you look at um, the I, I, I still use this example a couple of hours back. Mm. Um, yeah, no, no, um, Ogude and um, Onadzi. You know, on, uh, Ogude had an opportunity to play in the first two games of the Nations Cup, but when he got that yellow card, he had to sit on the bench, and Onadzi sealed it up. Even as at the last qualifying match, Ogunde didn't have that opportunity to, you know, to, to, to express himself because somebody else has taken up that, up, um, that spot. So I feel it's just pure competition, and the competition is just there. That opportunity is, you know, 
available for every player that maximizes, you know, that opportunity when they get it. Okay, and uh, let's uh, quickly uh, look at uh, the squad. Uh, lots of players, right here, 30 players uh, to be exact. Uh, but I, I won't be able to go through all of this, but we all know the usual suspects are in there. Uh, but the new boys, uh, Michael Babatunde in here, uh, you won't say Goma Onduku is a new boy to, to this list again. He's been there uh, for a very, very long time too. And I'm um, also looking at uh, certain Ebenezer. Yes, uh, uh, there's an Ebenezer in this list. Uh, Ebenezer Odulami from Sunshine Stars also making it. Uh, but uh, let's hope that everyone gets uh, a fair share or a fair uh, a level playing ground uh, to really fight for a shirt. But uh, still on the Super Eagles. Uh, and uh, no, the, I come back to you. You said you won't talk about Yobo, but there's no way we won't talk about Yobo because we are that the NFF are, are planning on tinkering with this 30-man squ squad. And that means uh, that maybe, maybe the captain of the team might still be recalled, uh, you know, for those games in May, June, July. Tinkering the team does not mean that Yobo is going to be included in the team. Tinkering does not mean changing a particular person and bringing another or adding someone. It means it's an adjustment. Adjustment does not mean things will be changed. It means questions will be asked. Because what you do is that you defend the, the, the team you've released. If they are comfortable, fine, it goes like that. If they, they are not, then you try to look at ways they can really to harmonize because sometimes the argument comes and But we hear that, 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 that it might be recalled just because for how many right. between him and, well, I, and, I think, and the coach. I think that is, that's it within the realm of speculation because if somebody had made that statement, it does not mean that that will happen. Because if it does happen, it means that um, um, revolting against a particular leader or a coach is an opportunity for you to get back into the national team. That's what mm. they are telling someone. But I, I don't think that will be the that will be the, the opening. I think Keshi should be able to hold his ground, stand his ground, and say, no, Yubo is not part of this thing. I'm not saying because we have issues, because about the media, it's becoming a but, media but, but, uh, Just one quick question. On, on what basis I should Yobo be omitted from the squad? Is it based on form? Uh, is it based on maybe the individual differences between them? Because when Keshi became coach of the team, he said every player that gets into this team will be invited based on merit. And based on merit, Yobo deserves everything. Just played in the Europa League. We saw him put in 90 fantastic minutes of action. And I think that's merit. Well, you may be correct in that. But let me tell you, if you come to the Super Eagles and stays on the bench, how do you expect a captain to sit on the bench? It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not palatable. And I think it's not, just, it's not yeah. good to hear. It's not something that you won't hear. Like captain sits on the bench for ninety minutes, he doesn't play. Yeah. But this won't be the first time it will happen. Yeah, this exactly. will not be the first time it will happen. But that, that is, that's but in case that is not, it's not, it's not a proper manner to do it. It's rather the captain sit with the fans watching, that sit on the bench. Okay. But uh, now, if you look at Keshi, sorry, if you look at Keshi, if you look at Yubo, he says Yubo is not fit for now. He got some guys who could do the job. Does that, not mean that, 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 that means that, that means there's that, that's been, it, it, there's been truth has been economical with uh, maybe cash has been economical with the well, truth you know because when you say that your boy is not fit enough, he plays for a top club in Europe. When you Whether you like it or not, Fenerbahce is a top club, and you can be fit and play against a Lazio, and you put in a, a good performance. Wale Yeah, I absolutely. the committee uh, that will be sitting next week also i will try and see to uh, ways uh, where uh, players who have had uh, face off with uh, stephen keshi will also uh, try and settle things ibanele menike or sazi odemwinge
as to the excesses they need to cut it but at this point i don't think he has gotten to the extreme it's, it's still within the range at which he should express himself okay and uh, i think that will sum it up but, but-